Hi, my name is Katie Conrad and I'm a disability lawyer. Today, I'm going to be answering the question, can you get CPP disability and ODSP at the same time? Can you get CPP disability and ODSP at the same time? So these are two different disability benefits that are available. The CPP disability is a national program to pay benefits to people with disabilities. ODSP is the Ontario Disability Support Program. So this is only available in Ontario and it's a provincial program that also provides financial support to people with disabilities. So I'm going to start by going through basically the criteria first, those two programs to highlight the similarities and differences between them so that we can see how they interact with each other. So CPP is available to Canadians other than people in Quebec. Um, if you've paid sufficient contributions into the plan over the years that you were working, you have to meet their definition of a severe and prolonged disability. And with the CPP, there's no financial need component. So it doesn't matter what other benefits or income you have, as long as it's not employment income, because then that shows you're not disabled. Um, but they don't care if you have um, other benefits, other pensions. They don't care how much other people in your household make. You get a set amount based on the contributions that you paid in when you were working. So your CPP isn't affected by ODSP. So if you're already on CPP and receiving that and you're thinking of applying for ODSP and you're worried about whether that will affect the benefits you already have, you don't have to worry about that. Your CPP is going to be fine. Now the ODSP, on the other hand, for this one, you have to meet their definition of disability. It's slightly different than the one for CPP. ODSP is actually um, a little less strict, a little easier to get. Uh, so it's possible you can qualify for ODSP, but not meet the definition of disability for CPP. Some people will be in that situation. If you meet the definition for CPP and you have those benefits approved, you automatically will qualify for ODSP on the disability portion. If you're approved for CPP, you'll meet the de definition of disability for ODSP. Now, the other component for ODSP is that there is a financial need component. So they're going to assess your whole financial situation based on your entire household. So your income, anyone else's income, how many dependents you have, your assets, what your actual living expenses are. They're going to look at that whole picture to decide whether you qualify financially. So if you are receiving CPP, that's going to be one of the sources of income that they count when they're assessing your eligibility for the ODSP. So at the end of the day, once they've made those calculations, it is possible that if you're receiving CPP, you can still qualify for ODSP, but it's going to depend on your financial situation as a whole. Um, some people, their CPP will be enough to you know, they'll, they'll be making too much money from that, that they won't qualify for ODSP. But again, it depends on all of those other factors about your living situation and all your sources of income that they're going to be looking at. One thing to be aware of is that if you do get approved for both, your ODSP will be reduced by the amount of your CPP. So just as an example, if you're receiving ODSP for $1,000 a month, and then your CPP gets approved and it's say $800 a month, your ODSP will re be reduced down to only be $200 so that you still get the same amount at the end of the day. So that was, can you get CPP and ODSP at the same time? The answer is yes, but it does depend on your financial situation as a whole. And if you do get both, your ODSP will be reduced by the CPP amount. My name is Katie, I'm a disability lawyer, and we'll see you next week.